What's up guys, my name is Guillaume, this is Thomas Guitars and Basses, and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. It's noisy, but it's worth it. Hey guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. If it's your first time around here, welcome. What I do is take bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone, going through the riff, how to play it, and how to get to the same kind of sound. Now, if I haven't covered your favorite song yet, just put it in the comment section down below and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can, just like I'm doing now almost a year and a half after Mr. Pooh Ninja requested Black Label Society, and today we're covering Destruction Overdrive. I'm not going to introduce Black Label Society as one of Zach Wilde's many different projects and collaborations, and but this is uh, out of the album Blessed Hell Ride, which is one of my favorite and just tons of guitar, licks, riffs, leads. Like if you, want to, if you want to dive into that kind of super hard rock guitar playing, this is definitely one of the main albums to do it with. So today we're focusing on the song Destruction Overdrive because that's the one that Mr. Poo Ninja requested. And uh, we're gonna start with the guitar. And the one that I'm gonna be using today is that Epiphone Prophecy SG guitar. It's not the guitar to do that kind of thing. Uh, obviously Wild Audio guitars are that's, that's it, that's probably the best guitar for the job. Anything that's less bully, SG-esque or SGV hybrid of a guitar will probably work as well. We're, we're just looking for like an active pickup bridge kind of sound in a guitar that looks the part and I think this one does a pretty good job of it. So I'll be playing this Fishman Fluence modern in the bridge position that way and like full on because uh, there are different voicings for these but this is like the active sort of super punchy super high output kind of sound and uh, now we're going to have a look through our amp and pedal setup. And once again, uh, Wild Audio would be your amp of choice for that kind of sound. That being said, at the time, I think it was still a Marshall artist. Uh, so we're looking at some sort of a modified JCM 800 uh, kind of amp. He was also uh, doing a bunch of collaborations with uh, MXR Dunlop for the overdrive pedals, the wire pedals. Uh, these are all available, I think, still to this day. Uh, there'll be a link in the description box for all of these, a bunch of different recommendations as well. But basically to get in the right ballpark, you wanna go JCM 800-esque and crank the absolute life out of it, which is what I'm doing here today. The preamp is completely cranked, so it's treble and mids, uh, presence about halfway up. No bass, because with these kind of amps, as soon as you crank the volume and the preamp that high, the bass comes inherently with the speaker. So really don't wanna to put too much of it in there, otherwise it's just a big floppy mess. Obviously, uh, Zach Wilde was using a bunch of Boss pedals, a bunch of MXR pedals uh, before that. I think for that particular recording, it might have been a Boss DS1. That's like a ton more gain on top of the gain that's already within the amp. I tried here, I honestly didn't like the result at all. So I went for the sort of overdrive pendant to that uh, pedal, which is the super overdrive, the SD1 by Boss as well. And I'm using quite a bit of gain on it too, like really, really, not just pushing the front end of the amp with volume, but really just adding gain. And the tone is almost all the way up to try and keep everything focused. But basically, the guitar into the amp is gonna sound like this. And if you add the overdrive, Noisy, but it's worth it. Obviously, this doesn't have to be this particular overdrive. I think anything that's sort of neutral-ish, but you do want a certain amount of gain on tap on that pedal. So I think this one does a pretty good job at it. But again, uh, there'll be a bunch of different recommendations in the link in the description box. And with all of that said, let's jump onto the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the riff. And 
then first off, you're going to want to tune your guitar in D sharp, E flat. So half a step down from E standard. I thought it was a drop tuning at first, but uh, after going through a bunch of live uh, videos of that Zach Wilde actually playing it, it is actually a standard tuning. And finally, before we get started with the playing, a bunch of you guys were asking in the comments if we could put the fretting side next to the picking side on screen, so like split screen side by side. So that's what we're gonna try doing for the next couple of episodes. Uh, please do let me know in the comments if you feel like that's better than just going through picking on one side and then uh, having a look at the fretting side uh, of it, or if you prefer the split screen scenario. But basically, this is how you wanna play that riff. Now, for the beginners among you, I know this might seem a little bit tricky, mostly because of the harmonics in there. They're kind of hard to pull out, really. Uh, mostly, like, in finding excuses, as usual. These strings are pretty old. It's kind of hard to, to pick them out. But basically, what you want to do for that is just rub with the flesh on your thumb uh, at the same time as you do it with your pick to kind of create that harmonic. It's a neat little trick. It's kind of hard to pull out in like a fast riff like that. So I'd recommend starting very slowly with it. Uh, but otherwise, it's fairly simple. You just locked onto that second fret position for pretty much the whole thing. So it's a really, really cool riff, really in your face, really like, you know, kind of, if you love Zach Wilde, this is it, this is why. This is that kind of riff. And then, yeah, I'm not gonna go into lead parts or anything. Now it's a really, really cool riff, but I'm assuming for the beginners among you, it might look a little bit tricky. I'm not gonna lie, it is that pinch harmonic, which uh, is the sound that you get when you rub the flesh of your skin, uh, of your thumb, at the same time as the pick, on the, on the string that's called the pitch harmonic and that's that squealy kind of, kind of thing happening there. It's really hard to pull off when you're playing that fast. So don't be afraid to slow it, slow it way, way down and, uh, and focus on the notes individually because the clarity of it is gonna matter a lot because of the amount of gain that we have. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of noise and you really don't want that in your playing. But with that said, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Destruction Overdrive by Black Label Society. As usual, I hope that episode was useful. I hope that maybe you've learned a thing or two today. And if so, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. That would be amazing. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which song you'd like me to cover next and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. In the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.